Hi, my name is Scott Naismith and I'm a landscape painter. This one's the Apple Cross Pass. This is the original and you're going to be watching it getting painted in the coming video. Uh, but this really is to show you the print beside the original, the original soul, but you can buy a, a limited edition print, one of 195 copies. And what you have is an object that's pretty much about the same size as the original, but the image is a little bit smaller. Uh, and the colour representation on the Giclée print, uh, compared with the original, matching up really well. The limited edition print is actually available um, in the UK, framed exactly the same way as this. So you can buy it framed from my website, um, but the print itself can be shipped all around the world. I'll leave a link in the description to the print, the limited edition print. In the meantime, have a look at this one being painted. Some of the commentary mentions limited edition print and a little bit about it, uh, but also a little bit about the place that this is, the Apple Cross Pass, uh, which runs between Loch Carden and Apple Cross. See you in the next video. Thank you very much. Cross Pass Bilach Naba. Uh, it's that steep road that if you've ever cycled up it, you will probably still be recovering. Uh, I didn't cycle, I took the car um, because I had a lot of photography equipment and also my drone, which you would have seen the drone passing by and getting those aerial shots of the overall place. I'm toying with the idea of kind of doing a more aerial shot of the same place, uh, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, Okay, uh, at the start you would you'd have seen you'd be seeing me uh, put down the underpainting in acrylic and then overpainting in oil paint. Uh, I said I would mention a little bit about limited edition prints. Uh, this particular one is available as a limited edition print. Once it's framed up, it's about 1.1 meters um, wide, uh, as you saw at the start of the the film. You'll be able to buy the the print in a link in the description of this video. It's just uh, on my website scottnaysmith.com slash buy dash online. Um, the subject of the limited edition prints, uh, my work is out as limited edition and open edition. Open edition meaning there's loads of them about there um, and they can be printed in any quantities. The limited editions limit, limits the run and they're each signed and titled and, and numbered. And my particular editions, this one is a, a, an edition of 195 copies. Once it's sold out, then the print really holds its value and increases in value. The problem with limited edition prints tends to be that a lot of the prints out there won't sell out the edition and hence won't hold the value. So the value of a limited edition print doesn't really go up unless you can kind of see that artist selling out the edition. Um, but does that matter? Probably not, um, because it's quite nice to have something signed. Uh, people get football shirts signed, frame them up. I doubt they would be framing up a football shirt if it wasn't signed. Maybe they do. Um, but it is nice to have something signed, and it seems more relevant to have a, a print signed than a football shirt. I mean, the, the player didn't 
create the football shirt but they're not signing their own work yeah they they maybe didn't even wear it um but to have the signature on the the print really is uh, nice and it's nice because of a thing I really think all artists should be doing more of is getting people more involved in what they do. The stories behind it, getting the, the studio shots. And social media is there and great for getting studio shots uh, and an insight into the making of the artwork, but also the artists themselves in this, in this kind of culture that we have now of celebrity and, uh, and kind of involvement in people's lives like reality tv and things um i think people are more conscious of wanting to be involved in something and and that's why that's partly why i do the videos is to, is to get people involved in what i do so that people care uh when my prints go out in open edition um it's kind of like people don't really care about who created this, they just want the image, they like the image, and they'll probably never do any more digging into who actually painted it. Um, but when someone buys a limited edition and the signature's there, there's a greater involvement in the artist. That's what I think anyway. So uh, that is why I say that limited editions are justified in their extra price. Um, you're gonna frame it nice anyway. So uh, if you're gonna spend money in a good frame because you're putting it on your wall, um, then the increased price in the print that's in it um, is, is less of a concern um, because it makes less of a difference percentage wise on the, on the overall uh, image and the overall frame on your wall. Um, you're gonna you're gonna have more of a connection to it. Uh, will it ever increase in value? Will it ever hold its value? You won't know until the thing is sold out. Now, if you buy a sold out print on the secondary market, you may get it on eBay or you may get it um, on Gumtree or a, a, car boot sale or something you may be able to pick something up on the secondary market that's sold out and that'll be great um because it'll be worth a, a little bit if you can get a bargain on it brilliant but are you really gonna sell it on it i i don't know um I, I don't know will it be worth loads in, in years to come it might be but if you're buying for specifically um the increase in value of the object just buy the original just uh buy the original but um uh, paintings like this one here that we're watching the original is gone there's only one and that's it and you don't have that option publisher is uh edinburgh arts so any galleries out there that would like to stop the the, the prints get in touch with edinburgh arts if you're in edinburgh you can you can get them from edinburgh arts and you'll probably be able to see them they they stop most of the range as well okay thanks for tuning in um i'll see you in the next video thanks for following on twitter facebook instagram all the rest of it and thanks for subscribing see you in the next video Bye.